friends, are you ready to sing some songs today? Today we're going to sing about a butterfly. Are you ready? Five little butterflies resting on the door. One flew away and then there was four. Butterfly, butterfly, happy all day. Butterfly, butterfly, fly, fly away. Four little butterflies sitting in a tree. One flew away and then there was three. Butterfly, butterfly, happy all day. Butterfly, butterfly, fly, fly away. Three little butterflies looking at you. One flew away and then there was two. Butterfly, butterfly, happy all day. Butterfly, butterfly, fly, fly away. Two little butterflies sitting in the sun. One flew away and then there was one. Butterfly, butterfly, happy all day. Butterfly, butterfly, fly, fly away. One little butterfly sitting all alone. One flew away and then there was none. Butterfly, butterfly, happy all day. Butterfly, butterfly, fly, fly away. All right, boys and girls, are you ready to do some art with Anna? Anna, do you have an art project for us today? Hi parents, hi friends. So today we're going to make a butterfly. What we're going to need is just a plain white piece of paper and some colored paper. So any color that you have at home is fine. Some scissors and a marker. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold this white piece of paper in half. And then on that folded part, we're going to draw a, a three. So we're going to do the big part of the three first, like that, and then the small part of the three, like that. That's all you need to do. And then with this marking, we're going to just cut it out. There we go. Now with the butterfly, what we're going to do is grab our colored paper, and what we can do just line it up, it's all the way there, and then we're just going to cut a strip, about an inch, just straight, and we have strips of colored paper, and what we're going to do is just cut them into small Sorry, I should have said this earlier, we're going to need a glue stick, or some glue, glue then you can just Paste it on in half of it, and the other half. Then we're going to let our friends decorate it with the little squares that we cut up. Okay. We have our colorful butterfly. So we have some of the pieces falling off. What you could do, you can just glue a little bit of it, and then let them put it back down, and it should stick. I'm gonna let that dry for a little bit. Once it is all dry, we're going to cut around the extra pieces that went off the line. Good job, friends. Good job, parents. You did a great job. Beautiful. Hi, friends. Today we're going to read The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Are you ready? In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of an egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. 
On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one of ice cream, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now, he wasn't a hungry caterpillar anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself, and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon and pushed his way out. And he was a beautiful butterfly. <laughs>